people in the free world, but now I'm the boss ship is another video. So this is a different kind of video today. Guess what? So I'm not sure how to state this, but basically I decided to start a new series. So you may have heard of Scratch. It's a simple coding thing. So I just have this site up here to show you everything. Basically, I am going to be showing you how to make your sprite move. So I'm not going to use this boring cat. I'm going to use, no, no, wrong one. So I'm on Scratch 2, which is the newer one. So yeah. Uh, let's go on. Let's. But da 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 da. Let's get animal. Da 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 da. Um. Word, 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 word. You know what? We don't have to make it do a special like moving thing. So let's just go back. So what we want to do? So first of all, decide what key you want to use. So there are lots of different things in Scratch. So you have motion, look, sound, pen, data, events, control, sensing, operators, and more blocks, which I will show you soon. So. First of all, you need to make it so that when a key is pressed, and that basically kicks off a thing. So that basically kicks it off. So let's say that when when the right arrow key is pressed, and let's get a left arrow key pressed. When left arrow key pressed. So this way is this way is x, that way is negative x, that way is y, that way is negative y. So what that means is that we want to move 10 steps with that and move negative 10 with that. So this is actually one of the most simple ways you can do coding. So look, it'll go like that. And then, but you can't move up and down at the moment, so <coughs> let's make it do that. So up arrow and down arrow. So when those are done, you want that to move 10 steps and that to move negative 10 steps. So watch, it's very simple. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. That's wrong, that's wrong. Um, change Y by, I meant not, not move. Change Y by 10 on up and negative 10 on down. So, see? that all works. Um, now let's make it so, so I'm going to introduce you to data and well we're just going to learn about variables. <coughs> so what we're going to do, we're going to create a variable called score and we're going to create a new sprite which will be, uh, let's say it's an apple. So your bat must get find an app, uh, get an apple. So to make it smaller, I'm just gonna go on to convert. I'm just gonna go on bitmap because I feel like it. Just select all of that, make it smaller like that. Set your new costume center like so, and then that's your costume center. So the apples there. So what we can do now is when that's clicked, that's to do forever. That's very important. If touching Apple, it will broadcast. So where's broadcast? Broadcast. It will broadcast score. So when I receive score. Hide, change score by one, and go to P 
pick random. Go to pick random. Uh, let's say negative two forty. Um, two positive. No, no. Let's say negative two twenty to positive two twenty. So negative two twenty, positive two twenty, and then um one seventy to negative one seventy like so. So and then you want to pick random. Negative one seventy. Oh, wrong thing. Negative one seventy to one seventy, and so on. So basically, now you quite simply get the apple. Your score will go up, and it will go to a new random location. But I missed that one thing there. I just remembered. You need to make it wait a certain amount of time. Well, you don't have to make it wait, and then you want it to um, show. So look. Um, do that and then it will show somewhere else quite simply right there and yeah it's quite simple this is just a small tutorial of course you can go much um, more you can go much more advanced of course but yeah simply like this Now, if you want him to flip when he's going down, well, yeah, going left and right, I mean, silly me, wrong thing I said there. <coughs> what you need to do, motion, you want to change that, but, no, 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 first, oh yeah, left arrows, oops, by 90 degrees, and then this one, by once again, 90 oh no 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 that won't work that won't work actually that won't work that won't work that's a bit stupid of me wait there it usually does that but oh yeah wait, what the heck am I doing I have no idea what I'm doing Pointed direct, yeah, yeah, this is how you do it, okay. And then, yeah, that is right, alright. So now, oh, what the heck? Oh no, we have to change that now, so that will have to be 10. That will have to be negative 10, I think. Yep, nope, nope, nope. Oh yeah, they're both 10, aren't they? Because it's pointing a new way, so. Quite simply like that, and like that. And like that. So this is just a very simple thing you can do in Scratch. Sorry about all the mistakes. And then one last thing you can do is you can, well there are two things really. You can make it make a sound. So sound, play sound. Wait, sounds. Um, animal, where was it? No, I'm not sure where it would be actually because, where's bats? Well, let, let's just, <coughs> right, let's just make it dog. Okay, it's going to make a dog noise when it eats something. This is just a tutorial, guys, so of course you don't have to do this. You don't have to make it make a dog noise when it eats an apple. Come on, join Sam's. Okay, this is... <coughs> Actually, um, let's just show you something else you can do. I think this works. It's kind of experimental. Pick random. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, yeah, yeah I know what I do now. Um, play sound.
Um, place down that or what? Or that? Ah! No, never mind. It's I I can't remember. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, so it plays sound. It plays sound. Dog one. Now the other thing I was going to show you is how you can know if it's one. So again, you don't have to do this, but you can. So finally, what you can do is if. Uh, then operators, if something equals, let's say if your score is 10, so and then data of course, score equals 10, then what will happen is, um, say, so that, no, no, you don't have to leave for two seconds, say, yay, I have enough food. And then finally, play sound on one. Actually, no, I'm going to do something better. I'm going to do something much better. Vocals. <coughs> okay, it can be that. It will play sound beatbox one. Oh, I just had the best idea. In control, you have repeat. It will repeat ten times. Beatbox one. <coughs> and then, oh yeah, yeah. One last thing you need to do. When that's clicked, set score to zero. And and then there, of course. You need to make it stop everything. Done. No, no, the bottom of there. No, actually, you don't even have to worry about that. So look. <coughs> Best noise ever. Best bat noise ever. <coughs> okay. So. I'll just show you that it does work and all. <coughs> Hopefully it works at least. <coughs> if it doesn't, then that sucks. <coughs> what the? Okay, it went in the same place. But... <coughs> okay, okay. Oh, oh, we repeated it incorrectly. Oh well, oh well. So yeah guys, this is a quick tutorial on Scratch and what you can do. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye now.